Can Kia make predictions about probabilistic events? Humans regularly use probabilities to guide everyday choices. We can take into account which event is more likely when predicting what will happen next. For example, imagine Emma is picking out a candy from this jar. Which candy do you think she's holding? You may have guessed that Emma was holding a blue candy. That's because there are more blue than yellow candies in the jar. So it is more likely that Emma took out a blue candy than a yellow one. Now we know that at least one parrot species, the Kia, can also make these predictions. A group of Kia at the Willowbank Wildlife Reserve in New Zealand learns that black tokens could be exchanged for a food reward, but orange tokens could not. They were then given a series of tasks. Kia were presented with two jars containing different proportions of rewarding and unrewarding tokens. In their first task, one jar had a majority of black tokens and the other had a majority of orange tokens. When Kia saw two hands that had each taken a hidden token from these two jars, they consistently chose the hand from the jar that had more black tokens in it. Kia used the probability of finding black and orange tokens to make their choices, even when the absolute number of black tokens was the same in the two jars, or when the absolute number of orange tokens was the same in both jars. This shows that Kia used the frequency of black and orange objects in the jars to make their predictions, rather than choosing the jar that had either the most black tokens overall, or the fewest orange tokens. Now, imagine Emma is picking a candy out from this jar, with a solid barrier in the middle. Which candy do you think she's holding? Most of us would expect that Emma would pick a yellow candy. Even though the overall jar contained an identical number of blue and yellow candies, you could see that only the top half of the jar was accessible to Emma. So you made a prediction that took the presence of the barrier into account. What matters is the frequency of candies above the barrier, not below it. Just like humans, Kia understand this physical constraint. Kia were shown two jars with the same number of black and orange tokens throughout. However, in one jar, black was more likely to be sampled from the population above the barrier than it was for the other jar. In this example, both jars have the same number of black tokens above the barrier, but in one black is in the majority, and in the other, it is not. Kia consistently preferred the hand that had sampled a hidden token from the jar from which black tokens were most likely to be sampled. Kia did not simply avoid the jar with the most orange tokens at the top. They continued to select the jar from which sampling a black token was most likely, even when both jars had the same absolute number of orange tokens above the barrier. This is the first time a non-human animal has been shown to integrate a physical constraint into their probabilistic predictions. Now consider this. Each day when Jacob arrives at the office, he walks past his candy jar and, without looking into the jar, takes a yellow candy. Sometime later, Liam walks past this candy jar, looks into it for some time, and also takes a yellow candy. Which one of them prefers yellow candies to blue candies? Given that Jacob takes a candy without looking, it seems likely he will get a yellow candy only if he takes one from a jar with a greater proportion of yellow candies. But Liam appears to specifically look for a yellow candy in a jar where there are more blue than yellow candies. So you probably assumed that whilst Jacob is equally happy with both candies, Liam prefers the yellow one. Kia, like humans and chimpanzees, also seem to make these judgments and integrate them into their predictions of uncertain events. In our study, Kia saw one person randomly choosing black tokens from a jar where black was in the majority, and another person specifically picked a black token whilst looking into the jar when black tokens were in the minority. That is, this biased sampler appeared to have a preference for black tokens. Kia attended to samplers' behaviors when they sampled from mixed populations of tokens, and then remembered these even when they sampled from identical populations. When predicting between samples from these two identical populations, relying on probability alone would lead Kia to pick a chance, but they integrated sampler biases into their predictions, overriding probabilistic information, and selected the biased sampler that preferred black tokens. This is the first evidence that a bird can make true statistical inferences and integrate both physical and social information into their sampling predictions. Our study shows that, even though Kia have a very different brain structure from humans, they can integrate different types of information while making predictions about uncertain events.
This work has important implications not only for understanding how intelligence evolves in animals that have different brain structures to ours, but also could help us create more flexible artificial intelligences.